This is the story of how I completed a full netherite beacon. The journey started in March 2021 on day 378 in my hardcore world. All the netherite scrap has now smelted, which means I can make a lot of netherite ingots. 21. Doesn't sound like a lot, but that is a lot. And for the first time in my entire life, I can make a block of netherite. I have never made one of these before. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? I need 164 of these in total. And I've got two. I can also use this gold to craft more netherite ingots. Another block of netherite. And my netherite beacon really is starting to come together. Three down, 160 to go. Fill these up with ancient debris. I also have a piece of netherite scrap and some ingots in here. Now these are all finished. Let's craft a load of ingots. And <laughs> we can make four blocks. Eight more debris and I could have made a fifth one. And there we go. <laughs> Why am I starting this project? I've reached the end of my tunnel and got 162 ancient debris. And it is good to finally be home. Put all of you in there. Being the idiot that I am, I accidentally put my ender chest in my ender chest so I couldn't use my ender chest whilst I was out and about in the nether. I've just crafted loads and loads of iron into rails. <laughs> I think that'll be enough. Might as well do the same with my gold. Let's craft a load more netherite ingots. Now 47 in total. That's five more blocks of netherite. Yay! But you know what, guys? In my books, progress is progress. And <laughs> See, I, I told you I started this project a long, long time ago. Because it was a much bigger project than I first anticipated, I, I took a bit of a break from it for about a thousand days. But then I finally started to take it seriously and was not going to stop until I completed it. End of the tunnel has been reached and we got two stacks and 16. That's a pretty good result. Let's set all of this off smelting. That is all now done. Let's turn it all into ingots. And from that, we get four blocks. But wait, it also gets better because these four blocks are going to be mined away and replaced like this. Then I can smelt these, create another ingot, and this diamond shovel can now be upgraded to what it should be. 70 pieces of ancient debris. Now to smelt all the ancient debris, and I'm also cooking the netherrack. Also remove a couple of pieces of ancient debris here. And now I can grab all of this, turn it into ingots, and make two more blocks of netherite. I'll have this done after about 10,000 days. Okay, well, well, we found some already. <laughs> Wait, we found two. This is brilliant. I literally, I, I, I literally just dug out into this cave as you saw, turned a corner, it was right here. So that's two down and two to go. And two to, oh my goodness. <laughs> It's three that I have just got the luckiest I think I've ever got with ancient debris. It, it doesn't get any better than that. Literally went from there, found some more here, and then, and then I'm just at this game. That has to be the best I've ever done. And people say finding ancient debris isn't easy. Now let's set these five pieces off smelting. Grab my nether quartz magenta box, you know what I mean, and put those in as well. Craft one more ingot, craft the block. There we go, we got ten blocks of netherite. And yes, I know it sounds like a lot, but it is actually very, very depressing when you, you see them all placed down and you realise it. There's still loads to go. Although once the bottom layer's done, you would have to say probably one of the hardest parts is done and every layer from there will get easier and easier. All of these can go in here. And I'm also going to need quite a lot of gold. What I've got in my inventory should be enough. And it also break my silk touch pickaxe before whilst mining the tunnels. So let's grab the necessary things to make a new one. That's all the books. Let's craft the pickaxe, use the anvil, and use a precious ingot to upgrade it. And whilst I've been doing that, my ancient debris has nearly fully smelted. I also should have been using the XP to mend my pickaxe, so that's that's a little bit of a waste. Now the grand reveal. How many ingots do we get? Okay, look at that. How many stacks? Okay, we got we got six, we got over a hundred ingots, and we got eleven blocks of netherite. That's one more than I was intending to get, which doesn't sound like much, but that's an extra thirty-six ancient debris worth. So it is quite a lot. Now for the satisfaction to place it all down. It's not actually that satisfying at all. But we have almost done the bottom layer. 16 blocks to go. I might be able to do that in the next episode. And the end of the tunnel has now been reached with a fantastic amount of almost six stacks. So I'm going to dig me, well, I'm going to attempt to dig my way out of it. Probably not in that direction. And the best thing is I've got loads and loads of spare TNT for the next episode. And here we are, home sweet home. And I reckon the best way to deal with all this ancient debris is flick this lever so that... Okay, I don't know what happened there, but I'm pretty sure... Yeah, nothing can come out of this chest. Then I chuck all of the ancient debris to be smelted. Now, yeah, it will be slow than using blast furnaces if all of these are blast furnaces, but because there's so many of them, just wait a second and you'll see every single one of them comes on together. Look at that, beautiful. And they'll all be simultaneously be smelting this ancient debris. And it's all just filtering into this chest so, so fast. And whilst I wait for that, I'm going to grab the ancient debris that I put in here earlier. Now then, looks like this is all finished. Oh, look, it just looks beautiful, doesn't it? Then I'm going to unflick this lever, which will unlock the chest. And I'm going to fill this with netherracks. I'll just get a load of nether bricks from it. 
could be useful. And whilst I leave those cooking, I'm going to need a lot of gold. Now, do we have a lot of gold? We do have a lot of gold. This is the exciting part. Put it together for ingots. Look at that. Over a stack. It just it looks beautiful, doesn't it? We've got loads and loads. How many blocks are we going to get? 11. That really is fantastic. Now, we've run it, nearly run out of gold, which is a bit of a problem, but not to worry. We've got a few spare ingots for next time as well. Let's place these down. Yeah, this is the very, very satisfying part. And there's just five more to go to finish the bottom layer. And once the bottom layer is done, it will near enough be halfway, which is exciting. My, my goal is to have it done by 4,500 days. That's that's the day that we're shooting for. Although that could be quite the challenge. So now I shall fly on home and see if I actually got enough ancient debris to finish the bottom layer of the beacon. I'm going to quickly smelt it all using this super smelter. And whilst I wait for that, I can drop off all this black stone and grab some gold. This has actually just made me realise I need a bit more gold. Kind of annoying when I was literally just at a gold farm. But not to worry, I'm sure there's going to be plenty at this one up here. Yep, the chest is pretty full. Four and a half stacks will be enough. Looks like all of this has finished smelting. And I've got a little bit more in this sugar. Okay, actually, some to smelt as well. We've got ingots. I wonder if I can just put them directly in there. How many can we craft? Oh, quite a decent amount, you know. Now then, it's just going to be enough. All the rest of this can just go into the shulker box, as well as these two extra pieces. And look at that. The bottom layer is now complete. It looks amazing. I'm so glad I'm finally making some decent progress on it. One more netherite block, and the beacon will be halfway done. And I can grab ingot, scrap, gold, all that good stuff. Combine it with the netherite in all of these. Might as well use this HP to fully heal the flint and steel as well. From there, I can craft the ingots, make two blocks and the journey of layer number two has now begun. Adding both of those blocks actually means we are now officially past halfway. Only took me 3,726 days to get there. And I can begin the smelting project of all of this ancient debris. Using the super smelter just bounces it out so much. Look at that. There's just one in each and it fills this chest up very, very fast. I believe I might also have a bit, not in that one, but in this one, I might have a bit of yeah, look at that bit of netherite scrap, netherite ingots. And we're going to need quite a bit of gold, in fact, a lot more gold. Yeah, whilst I leave all that to smelt, I'm going to make a trip to the gold farm. Now, I'm going to start with this one up here because it is closer. Let's have a look at what we've got. Okay, well, is it going to be enough gold? I'm going to guess no. But there is quite a few ingots in there as well. Well, we're getting there with the gold. And whilst I'm here, I might as well repair my pickaxe as well. And then I can fly all the way over <laughs> somewhere in this direction. That's it. Just follow the blackstone slabs. And I will come to this farm. Although the place I really want is the farm down here, the gold farm, which has got so, so much gold. I did not realise I had this much gold waiting for me. Better start crafting these into blocks and putting them in here. And I think all of these should be enough. They don't even need to go in a shulker box, really. Let's just fly back up to the top, and then we can go back home. From there, I can grab all of this netherite scrap, chuck a bunch of these items into the sorter, and make all... A Wait, where on earth has this slab got? Okay, did I break that once upon a time? Let's um, let's put it back. There we go. And now I can craft all these netherite ingots. Oh, look at it. Two stacks... Two stacks, three stacks, no, oh, well, two stacks and four, that's insane. And then we can make the blocks. It's 14 blocks with three short for the 15th. But I tell you what, that is still some very, very nice progress. Because the layers are smaller, of course it's going to speed up. It's, it's really taking shape. And whilst I'm doing stuff with the beacon, might as well grab a bit of string and put it on these blocks so that snow does not go on them. And the same thing can be done on these outer ones as well. I really can't wait until that beacon is finished. It's been going since the beginning of time. What an achievement it will be. And I've only been working on it for 7.5 million years. Now, before I set this other one smelting, I'm just checking to make sure there isn't any lingering ancient debris in this room. Because just as I suspected, yeah, there's two netherite scraps sat in there. there. There always is. I'll take that with me. Offload the empty shulker boxes. And I can see what netherite I've got in here. So I've got four pieces there as well. Four ingots. That makes me very confident that this is going to give me loads. So I'll shove all of that in there. Every single furnace sets off at the same time which really is very, very cool. And whilst I wait for that, I actually need to head back towards my gold farm because to go with all of that ancient debris, I'm going to need quite a few stacks of gold. Thankfully, there's absolutely loads at this place, so I shall make as many ingots as I can. Now I can fly all the way back, grab my netherite scrap, which has finished already, and craft 60 million ingots. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, over two stacks of netherite ingots. How many blocks does it make? 15, you know what? That is pretty good. That is very, very good progress indeed. And I bet when placed, it really fills the area up. 
Yeah, I'll tell you what, I think next episode... Can we in the, can we get there in the next episode? Nine stacks and 41. But remember, that is coupled with the 18 ancient debris there and another stack, so it's it's like 11. Absolute madness, if you ask me. And it's all going to go into this furnace array to be smelted. And I'm also going to need quite a bit more gold than I have in there. About 11 stacks to go with the 11 stacks of ancient debris, to be precise. So I'll head on over to this gold farm and realise that I, I must have used up all the gold that's here. Although I do have a slower gold farm over here, which has quite a few ingots and gold blocks knocking about in it and a few nuggets as well. Still need a couple more stacks of ingots, but you know what? Step in the right direction. There should now be enough from all of these. And I suspect all this should not be far off finishing now. Yeah, it's it's getting pretty... In fact, it looks like it's done. And this is always a very, <laughs> very fun thing. Look at this. Oh my goodness. So, so much of it. 19 blocks of netherite. What a crazy, crazy mining session. And if I could get five more netherite scrap, I'd be able to make a 20th block. I'd love to go and do that now, but <laughs> if, if I don't hurry up, I ain't going to get this video finished. Because there are still quite a few mobs that I need to catch. And I can't say that there is quite a lot of time. So, you know, I have too many projects on the go at the moment, don't I? But look at that. A layer finished. We can put two on top of there as well. This beacon is very much on the move. And with so, so much of this ancient debris, I cannot wait to load up all of these furnaces. Of course, not forgetting what is in this shulker box as well. I've got three netherite scrap there and six things. Oh my goodness, I'm going to get so much. And whilst that is all cooking very, very nicely. Nice to see the sub count is climbing. Thank you if you're one of the ones that did subscribe. And as we're saying, I can start loading things into here. Because I didn't just get loads of ancient debris from that. I got loads of gravel, loads of blackstone, and loads of nether quartz. Now to grab plenty of gold so that I can make all of the blocks. Well, so I can make all the ingots anyway. Looks like all of these ones are finished. Have the end ones finished as well? Okay, they're almost done. I'm just I'm curious to see. Will that, will that empty? Yeah, okay, I think they're just about all there. Now for the bit that's always exciting, the great moment of truth. From all of this, I have got not one stack, not two stacks, but two stacks, 15, which makes 16 netherite blocks. That's so much. So much more than I expect as well. So those five can go in there away for the next episode. It's exciting. And I can also do the very, very fun part of placing more down. I'd also like to nip down to this chest room and grab a bit more string so that I can remove the snow around the edge and also on this top bit. So there are another 16 blocks to go, which is what I just got. Actually, I just got 16. So that's pretty exciting. It's not a crazy amount, really. And then the absolutely mammoth project will be finished. After spending over a year on it, today I will finally finish the netherite beacon. <laughs> I can't wait. So it's time to add all of the TNT to my massive nether tunnel. And all of it is down, which means I can start blowing it all up and hopefully for the final time begin the ancient debris collection. And that is the first stack. Just another seven or eight to go. And another 64 have been obtained. For some reason at the moment, I don't seem to be getting very lucky with the ancient debris, although it's starting to pick up now. Usually I get to two stacks way, way faster. With that, I've got three stacks. And now four, five, six. And realistically, I don't think I'll be getting a seventh stack, mainly because there is not that much left of this tunnel. But I am pretty happy with the amount that I have got. I think I reached the end of the tunnel and then just joined an old tunnel. Actually, I think maybe I just took a wrong turn in somewhere. Because there's still quite a bit of ancient debris down this tunnel that I've not got. Which is very handy indeed. Now I have actually reached the end. And my only worry is have I got enough? Have I actually done enough now to finish the netherite beacon? I really, really do hope so. It requires 15 blocks in total to finish. I've got one ingot in a shulker box. I still don't think I'm going to be quite there. I think I might still be slightly, slightly short. These have all now finished. Turn these blocks into ingots. Craft them all together. I, I think I've got enough gold. I have how many blocks is it going to be? Please, please be 15. It won't be, will it? How much is it? 11. So when I add this grand total of 11, look at that. We're onto the last layer. I need four more. And that's just over two stacks of ancient debris, which means I should grab all of the sand that I have, fly to the EOL farm, grab as much gunpowder as I can, and craft a load more TNT. And I reckon all of that is going to be enough two shulker boxes worth. Actually, way more than I expected. And now armed with all of this, I'm going to dig tunnels, put down TNT, blow it up, and get busy gathering the ancient debris. That's two down, 132 to go. How very exciting this is. A project that has been over a year in the making, is very, very close to coming to a close. That's the end of this strip with 17 obtained. Then I just simply move along a bit further down this wall, dig another tunnel, and effectively create a strip mining system for ancient debris. Also, because I have way more TNT than I need, I'm putting it all in a line like this. Don't need to try and be efficient with it. 
just want to do it as fast as possible. I'm officially at the point where I just need 100 more pieces. Yes, this really is the final straight. Just got to keep going, finding about 17 pieces per strip mine. And it's always nice when you find a few while digging the tunnel as well. And that is one stack down, one to go. And the tunnel's actually ended on, uh, on finding that last piece. And I'll be honest with you guys, I've, I've completely run out of time to actually finish this video. But I promised you guys a netherite beacon, and if my name's not SP737, you'll get a full netherite beacon. So the plan is to get back to my base, smell all of this, then whilst I wait for it, thank you guys for all the people that subscribed during this video, because 4 million is getting closer. Then I craft all of the ingots I'm available to, and make myself a, a one block another. Wait, can I, no, I can make two. I thought I miscounted. Then I place them on top, and as you can see, it is painfully, painfully close. But I've got one last trick up my sleeve. All the way down here, I built a custom portal room for 4,000 days. And of course, one of them was a netherite portal. So if I break any of these, these ones that are touching the portal blocks, the portal will break and I will never be able to make it again. So I've got to be careful, but I can grab that corner hand that corner without it affecting anything and I don't believe it after over a year <laughs> we have built a full netherite beacon I absolutely don't believe it and I won't believe it until I have a beacon on top let's grab one of them I can add it my goodness it's giving me chills come on yes it works and to make it look even better I reckon I grab a red stained glass pane and put it on top yes my netherite beacon is officially complete. I have one of every beacon in Minecraft Hardcore. A select few have done this. What an achievement. I'm so, so proud of myself. And I'd love to keep recording, but honestly, if, if I do, then I will have to delay this video by a week. I don't want to do that. I was up till 3am signing these posters last night and, and stuff like that. I've, I've given it everything. Just didn't quite manage to, to get the last 10 days done, but I, honestly, I, I don't want to delay this video. I managed to accomplish what I set out to do. I promised I'd finish this netherite beacon. I can I can fix that portal next episode, no problem. And I'll actually fully get this place finished next episode as well. But thank you so much for watching. You can get your post in the description, as I've said. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was 4,489 days in hardcore Minecraft and I, I crashed.